what's going on guys welcome back to rc voodoo today i got a video that is not rc related so if you're hoping for an rc video um sorry to disappoint you so you can go ahead and just skip on past this one um but what i've got here is basically it's my second hobby i've been doing it for quite a while as leather crafting and i've got some leather craft tools here that i got from a website called timu and I'd saw this website many times and didn't know much about them or if it was, you know, like Wish or, you know, just something like that. So never really uh, checked into them. So I got a got an email from Timu and they asked me would I be interested in uh, reviewing some products and give me a... Uh, give me a limit of what I could, uh, you know, spend and, uh, they would ship to me to, uh, do like a, a review video for them. So, uh, I took the chance and picked up some of the leather craft tools that I've been needing to get and it just worked out good. So here we go. The first thing I got was the thickness gauge. This is, um, basically you put your leather in there, smash it down, and it will show you the thickness of your, uh, of your leather in millimeters, which is really good when you're trying to, depending on what you're making, you want a certain, a certain thickness of leather. And that's a good way to find out what kind of leather you got. The next is a uh, mallet. These are used for stamping. I have quite a few leather stamps. And I do have a mallet already, but it's a really big one. More for setting rivets and stuff like that. But this one is a smaller. Still got a good weight to it on the end for the stamps. And much better this is actually four stamps my other one is pretty much designed for heavy duty and it's hard on the wrist when you're stamping for hours but there's the mallet the next thing i got here is a whole set of strap ends so when you're cutting uh leather straps for for belts buckles strap whatever and you want a curved end. You set your strap down. You pick the right size. Give it a whack with the mallet. And it chops off the end of your strap. And puts a nice. Puts a nice rounded edge on it. Okay. Next is an edge beveler. I have one already. But it's a different size. This one is a little, let me get the protective sleeve off here. So the one I got is probably twice this size for thicker leather. This you just, once you cut your leather for whatever you're making, you go around the edges, basically like that, all the way around, and it will bevel the edges so they're not... Um, pointy and sharp and helps also when you're burnishing if you don't have those sharp edges so i uh, picked up the beveler i don't know it says beveler uh it's a size number two i don't know if you can see that there we go so i think my other one's like a four it's pretty pretty big Let's see, and I got a skyver. And you don't have to have a skyver, but I mean, I've used a razor knife for years instead of getting a skyver, but pretty much. Let me get it open. Oh, jeez. There we go. And looks like it comes with extra blades. 
so it's a box of blades. So basically, when you are, um, let me see, okay, there you can see the blade. So when you're making anything with leather and you want to um, fold it over or, you know, you don't want it thick when you, like if you're making a belt and you fold it over, you don't want a big bulge where you fold it so you can scab down the inside and make it fold doing like leather book covers, anything where you're going to be folding the leather over or just want to thin it down, a scabber, you know, you just, just pull like peeling a potato, you know, and it will thin it down, make it much more pliable when you want to fold it over. And the last thing I got is a strap cutter, and you can see it's got the gauge with it. So basically this, get the blades out. Okay, so you'll put this in. No, I'm not going to take the whole thing apart. This goes in here, okay? And that sets the uh, the the width of however, you know, if you want a belt or if you want a strap for, you know, if whatever you're making and you need a strap or a, I don't know, whatever. You can uh, slide this out to whatever width you want, you know, if you're making a belt, you know, inch and a half, what, whatever. And uh, you hook the blade in. You just basically you put the put the leather in. You just pull this, and it keeps it perfect width all the way down. And uh, if not, then you'll be doing what I used to do a long time ago. I had like a metal yardstick, and I'd lay the leather down and hold the yardstick and cut the knife all the way down. And it's just not nearly as good as a strap cutter. The only thing about a strap cutter, when you get to the very end, the leather wants to kind of, as you're pulling it through, the let, when you get to the end, the leather will want to kind of fold. So when you get to the end, go fast at that last, you know, four or five inches. But this is, uh, this is all the tools I got in there. They're really cheap and they feel like, you know, they, they feel like good tools. They're, Got some weight to them. They're not like just cheap. Uh, those are good and sharp. I was worried about that. Those are pretty sharp. Yeah, those are really sharp. So be careful if you get any of these. Um, the prices on these are just freaking unbelievable. I thought it was going to be very cheap quality tools, but I mean, leather working tools. They don't have to be snap on, but you know, you still don't want cheap tools, and these all feel really good. I mean, they feel just like my other tools. So, um, I will leave a link for all these if anybody's into leather working. If not, oh well, you know, I just thought I'd make a video and uh, thank them for sending this stuff to me. and If uh, anybody's interested in it, I'll leave a link for each individual tool in the description as well as like just their their uh, website link if, uh, if you want to go check them out. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.